So you have made your reel. You spend hours of hours moving the cameras, matching the assets, and creating the best text animation. But when you look at it, it doesn't look as good as the reels you see. So what is the problem? In this video, I'm gonna reveal the secret sauce that professional editors use to make their reels stand out, but they never share it with you. This video aims to make your reels better in terms of styling, and if this video gets more than 5 minutes watch time, I will upload another one that reveals more secrets, so be sure you watch it until the end. Alright, before we begin, we need to talk about free and non-free effects. The free effects are the ones inside of Adobe After Effects, which we are going to cover one or two in this video. But I personally use these 5 plugins for these kind of reels editing, and I highly suggest you to buy them. And let me tell you a little secret, some of them you can find on the internet and download them for free. Now these are the 5 plugins that I use. Deep Glow by Plugins Everything, Sapphire Pack by Boris FX, Continuum Plugins Pack by Boris FX, Red Giant Magic Bullet, and lastly Optical Flares by Video Copilot. If you want to make money by creating these type of reels, consider these tools for your work. Now, the first effect we are going to learn is the CC vignette effect which allows you to make the corner of your composition darker. Take a look at this reel by Houston Cole. People are willing to spend 1500 on a new iPhone to replace their previous generation iPhone. People are Don't worry, we will create the same reel in the following episodes. Now, as you see in here, I have already made something similar to what we have in this reel. And if you pay close attention, you see that the edges in the original reel is a bit darker. Now we can add the CC vignette effect, but first we need to create an adjustment layer so we can apply the effect to it. By changing the amount, we can make the edges of the composition darker, which is what we want. Now, one thing that we see in this reel is that everything is sort of bright and shiny, and it looks good compared to what we have in here. Well, now this is time to take a look at the deep glow effect by Plugins Everything. This plugin hands down will give you the best glow effect right now in Adobe After Effects. Now, if you can afford this plugin, just use the glow effect in Adobe After Effects, but the result won't be as good as the deep glow effect. Now, let's make an adjustment layer and apply the effect. As soon as we do that, you notice that everything is bright. So we can turn down the radius and exposure to make everything sort of less shiny. But if we navigate through the style, you see that we have options like chromatic aberration or tint effect, which can take this effect even to the next level. Now pay close attention to the reel one more time. You see that we have some grain texture applied in here. Well, there are two ways to add this grain texture to our design. In one way, we can download a video of these textures and then we can change this mode to something like add or screen. And then we can reduce the speed of texture by adding the post rest time effect. But there is a better way to add these kind of effects which brings us to the next two effects which they are film damage and film crunch. These two effects are the part of continuum plugging pack by Boris FX. Now, if you apply the film damage, you can stimulate the appearance of the old film stock. Once you apply the effect, change the preset to the one that suits your design. However, if you want to make something that is newer and better, use the film grunge instead. And once you apply the effect, by changing the view, you can get the different result. Now, this is the part where I need a favor from you. If you have watched this video so far, it would be really nice of you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. This will help me out a lot. Thanks a lot. Now, moving to the next effect, which is Looks by Red Giant Magic Bullet. The one that you need to color grade your videos inside of Adobe After Effects. Once you apply the effect, click on Edit, and then Click on the gear icon to get access to hundreds of pre-built color grading effects. Choose the one that suits your design and take your design to the next level. Almost every Houston Cole or DA Edit Reels uses this effect. 
Moving on, you see that some of the high quality reels uses a flicker effect, which brings us to the next effect, which is flicker. The flicker is part of the sapphire pack by Boris FX. This effect is very simple. Once it's applied, you can control the flickering effect by changing the amplitude and frequency. By the way, if you don't have access to the flickering effect, just create an adjustment layer and then apply a wiggle expression to opacity and this will give you a close result as the flickering effect. Also, there is one more effect that is similar to the one that we have in here, which is shake effect. This effect also belongs to the sapphire pack. Once you add it, you can control it by changing the amplitude and frequency. Now, moving to one of my favorite plugins for making these type of reels, which is Optical Flares by Video Copilot. This plugin allows you to design and animate realistic lens flares in Adobe After Effects, which you can see many reels like DI Edits and also Houston Cold uses this effect. To make this effect work, first you need a solid layer, and then apply it to the layer. First, change the render mode to the transparent. And by changing the brightness and the scale, you can control the intensity of light. And you can change the position of the light by changing the position X and Y. But this is not the end. Like look effect, click on options to have access to presets and lens types. Now you can choose the one that you like and apply it to your design. Moving on to the last two effects which can help you to apply the realistic lens effect. One of them is Optic Compensation. And this effect, you can find it in the Distort section of the Adobe After Effects. This effect allows you to add or remove the optical distortion from your footage. And once it's applied, you can change FOV to get the look that you want. And the last effect we are going to review is the chromatic aberration. To make it clear, chromatic aberration, also known as color fringing, is a color distortion that creates an outline of unwanted colors along the edges. As you see in these examples, those unwanted lines can change and take your design to another level. So we can apply the BCC chromatic aberration and we can change the parameters to get the look that we like. There are still more plugins that I want to review and if you like these type of videos, please comment we want more so I can make more videos. If you like to make more of these videos, check out these two videos.